In this example, we're going to introduce you to free shape design and how it can be used to modify imported dumb geometry. And we'll show you how the toolpath stays associated during these changes. Let's get started. On the view to the right, you see our toolpath. The view to the left is our design document. Let's make our first change. Here we'll go to free shape and choose to modify this part. First, I'd like to point out that we have a fun function called constrain automatically which will recognize specific geometries. This is the area that we're going to use free shape to modify. Let's get started by unfixing the faces that we want to modify. Once the faces are unfixed we can then go and add a driving dimension to the faces. This is very much like adding a driving dimension in a sketcher. Once we locate that dimension, we can then modify it just by double clicking on it. And like that, the geometry is up to date. Let's change it again. How about 14? Beautiful. And you're seeing the CAM document dynamically updating to the right as well. There's another change. Let's change it one more time. How about 18 millimeters? Beautiful. Change is done. Let's exit out of free shape, go back to CAM and regenerate our toolpath and see what happens. So here we'll just hit regenerate and like that our geometric changes have been applied to all of the toolpaths where they have been affected. Let's look at another sample. Let's go continue our free shape modifications. Let's unfix the face of that through pocket. We'll flip the part around, unfix that face as well, and we'll add another dimension. Once the dimension is located, we can go ahead and modify it. Let's make it smaller, see what happens. You'll notice that it rebuilt the fillets in that pocket as well. Now as we rebuild the tool path, you'll see that everything updates without any problem. Let's continue with our modifications. Let's make it smaller still. But let's use a tolerance on our dimension as well. Here, we're going to modify it to 4 and validate. Now when we go back to CAM and we regenerate, we're going to get an error. It was unable to create the toolpath because the tool won't fit in that slot. Here is a list of events that have happened. And here you can see it's showing you at this date, at this time, we had a failure of the generation of this toolpath. I'll stick the uh, project manager back over there. If we go back in here, this is the toolpath that's causing the problem. Let's see if we can fix it. We can either put a smaller tool in or, again, adjust the geometry. So here we'll go back in and edit our free shape. And here we're going to use the geometric tolerancing that we added. So here we'll apply a tolerance of H7. And then we're going to set that tolerance to its minimum value or how about its mean tolerance or average and like that when we go back into cam now thanks to the tolerance adjustment our toolpath will now fit Let's make another change, maybe a more drastic change. Maybe we want to add a geometric relation, such as parallel. We want to take this face and the face of our slot and make them parallel. And again, this is dumb imported geometry. We can then even add a dimension to the detail to control its location.
And now when we exit out of design and go back to cam, our cam document will update and of course our toolpath will follow.